Hey, happy Saturday. We just got back from my dad's house up in Virginia and I'm tired. That is that, I don't know what it is. That trip, it takes about an hour and a half to get up there. And we, we weren't there super long because uh, my son had to come back and get ready for work. And then so an hour, you know, up there for like three hours and then we came back for an hour and a half so my son could be at work at three. Because we, we left early this morning. I had to stop and get my oil changed. I had an appointment to get my oil changed at 8. And then we just boogied on up there from there. And hung out for a little bit. We did stop by the produce place. Don't mind my eyebrows. I got them done yesterday. I hope they don't offend you. I don't feel like covering them up. Because I'm freaking tired. I'm always tired when I come back from up there. Look. Boop's doing the thing. She takes the tape measure. And uh. She likes to tap it on the floor. You have to get it further back, boo. You have to get it further back. Boo, you're doing it wrong. Why have you suddenly forgotten how to do it? You okay? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, she she grabs it down towards the end. She likes to take that metal tip and tap it on the floor. <laughs> but some days it's like she forgets how to do it. Yeah, my eyebrows are a little bit dark because I had them done yesterday after work. But they'll they'll lighten up a little bit. It's it's henna on there. But um, that dye lasts. I mean, it's five weeks between appointments. Can't believe it's already been five weeks already. But uh, it lasts like nothing I've ever tried it's it's fantastic it took a little getting used to but i like it um so i did get to meet my dad's new dog rosie i'm going to show you some video let me do that right now so here's my dad's dog so he he adopted this dog from the local shelter she's six months old and she had she came from wherever she was she was sorely neglected nobody was playing with her interacting with her at all so she is just starved for attention plus she's very young and high energy so here's my this is my dad's new dog rosie this is rosie <laughs> rosie look at yeah. this dog oh, rosie. Rosie, look. Oh. Rosie. <laughs> rosie, come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at her! <laughs> You're so excited! <laughs> okay! <laughs> She's doing. <laughs> oh my god! Go into the water! <laughs> Go over there! <laughs> okay. Rosie, you be good. Won't you belly rub? You belly rub? Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, baby. <laughs> 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 we need to get our guy that we see. No bigger down here. He attacks it most of the time. <laughs> 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 Aren't she cute? Oh, she wonders where the water went. <laughs> oh, she oh, it's coming out there. Oh, okay. Look at her trying to catch it. She loves water. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what a dog. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? 
<laughs> oh, there's a lot of air in there. <laughs> oh, so excited. Come here, let me see your face. Let me see your face. Stop. <laughs> Not a rosy. She's Wait ringing it. wet. <laughs> I know. Hey. Watch your belly run. Watch your belly run. Yes, you do. Watch your belly run. Aw, oh, and she's sweet. Yeah, she likes her belly run. Hey, I sport to a belly run. I sport to a belly run. Oh. What a good girl. No, no, no. <laughs> she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> She's not sure what to do with that. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. You are so wet. sopping wet. wet, you silly dog. You wet. Wet. You wet, wet baby. <laughs> you wet. Yes, you are. You wet. Don't nobody will have nothing to do with you when you wet. <laughs> and then, um, so that's, that's, so that's her. Um, and then my younger son wanted to ride the go the go the go kart the golf cart. My dad has this golf cart that he rides up and down the mountain sometimes. I would tell you it's exhausting walking because that slope is steep. I tell you it'll keep you in shape. If I lived up there, my cardiovascular health would probably improve. Um, the dog scratched me a little bit. She jumped on me and put a little scratch on my leg, but I think I'll live. Um, one of the reasons why I'm so tired when I come back is because we always stop by the produce place and I always get a bag of candy and I'll eat a whole bunch of candy on the way home and then I have a sugar crash about the time I get home because I'm nibbling on it all the way home and then I and then I crash not long after getting home and then I want to just go lay down somewhere which is exactly what I did. I laid down on the couch and kind of dozed for a little bit but I got up, drank some water, I'm feeling better. So, because I have to go out and spray the, the Japanese beetle stuff on my bushes. Um, I got to go to the store. I got to go get groceries. I have several things I have to do. So, I don't really have time to dilly-dally a whole lot. But uh, And I need a shower. I really need a shower. We were outside for a bit and I got kind of sweaty. Um, he was really tickled with the New York Times Magazine thing. I showed that to I took a copy of it for them, my dad and my stepmom. They thought that was really cool. They thought that was super neat. Um, so yeah, after we visited for a little bit, my younger son wanted to take me for a ride on the golf cart. So <laughs> we went all the way down. There's this long, 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 long driveway that goes, kind of winds around and there are a few other houses that kind of branch off from it. And then it goes up to my dad's place and it just kind of stops in his yard. But uh, here's the, here's the golf, here's the golf cart. <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do? I'm going to go down there. You're going to go down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I got out because I'm scared. I'm going to walk. leaving me behind. Isn't it beautiful out here? Oh, I love it. It's so, so pretty out here. I, he's gone. It's so beautiful out here when the leaves change. What? I can't hear him. I don't know what he said. 
It's so pretty out here. This is the uh, the long driveway going up to my dad's house. We're just out here riding the golf cart around, and he he scared the crap out of me because we went down back that way. There's this steep. It drops. He's he scared a few cuss words out of me. I, I'm embarrassed. Because it just, that golf cart was going faster than it was ever intended to go. <laughs> and I got scared. <laughs> but yeah, it's, oh, it's gorgeous out here. I love it. In the fall. Oh, man, in the fall. When the leaves are changing. Oh, there's a spider. Look, it's a little spider. Come here, fella. Oh, he's coming back. Let me get out of the way. God knows. Look how fast he's going. Hey. He loves riding that golf cart. <laughs> Off he goes. Yeah, a little bit of the creek runs down th right through here. You can see it down there. Just a little bit of it. There are gnats out here. They're buzzing around my face. It's, oh, it's so nice out here. I love it. And the ground, if you look at it, it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see it, but there's mica in the dirt. And it makes the, gra it makes the ground sparkly. Everywhere you go, it sparkles. It's all sparkly. Like, all the dirt is sparkly. It's just really cool. There's so much mica up here. Yeah, it's, it's just so, it's just so pretty out here. I love it. It's like a, a whole world away from where I live. It's very, very different. Big tall trees everywhere. It's great. There's a white pine, you can tell. Let me show you. With a white pine, you can tell because all the branches grow out kind of in a ring. They all kind of grow out around. They don't just grow out wherever. There's kind of a, a sense of order to the way the, the branches come out of the tree. That's a, we have white pines up here, longleaf pines, ponderosa, loblolly, shortleaf pines. A bunch of different pine trees around here. There's some berries. I'm not sure. Not sure what they are. I will not be consuming them. Yeah. Well, hopefully he'll come back. I, I This is a very, very long road right here. It goes pretty far. We went all the way down to the end and came back. And yeah, I, I, I didn't want to come down that hill with him. I was, <laughs> I was too scared because he brought me down this big thing and we were going just way too fast. And I, I couldn't handle it. My little cowardly heart just couldn't take it. <laughs> So that was our day. Um, I hope your day has been awesome. I still have other things to do and I'm looking and it's it's getting on close to six o'clock. So I want to go ahead and get that stuff done so I can get my shower. I don't, I don't feel like going to get a shower before I go back out because when, by the time I get back from the grocery store, I'm going to be sweaty again. It'll be a whole new layer of sweat. So I'm going to go get groceries and come back. Boop. It's Boop walking around in the shower. And, and then I'll take a shower when I get back. But, um, yeah, happy Saturday. Oh, I wanted to mention, too, you know, I posted, if you saw on my other channel, I posted that thing about that, that uh, they're doing a casting call for some movie or something. I'm not going to do it anyway. I just thought it was funny because the character's name is the same as mine, and she hasn't eaten in three days, and she's eating seagulls under the pier. I just thought it was funny. I can't go try out for it anyway. The the thing said it would take four days, and it's up in Massachusetts. Like I, you know, I don't have I have a full time job, and I don't have any time off, and I can, I don't have four days to go to Massachusetts, even if I did. And I know there's like a, a strike of some sort. I'm not trying to get involved in all that. I just thought it was funny. I just wanted to share. I didn't know it was going to ruffle people's feathers. Like, oh my God, don't be a scab. Like, I, I forgot all about that. I just posted it because I saw it online the other day and I thought it was funny. 
I want to be in a movie where I'm eating seagulls under a pier. That not literally eating seagulls under a pier. That would be funny as hell. That's just so damn random. I, I just thought it was funny, and the character's name was Mary. Like, oh my god, what the hell? But no, they're they're filming this in Ma in Massachusetts, and no offense to anybody from Massachusetts, but I have no desire to go spend four days there. I don't have four days to do it anyway. Even if I was going to do it, I couldn't because, yeah, I don't have four days to go do that. So, anyway, I just thought it was funny. You know, I, I forgot that we do live in a time where you can't, you can't point out funny stuff without somebody getting mad. So, anyway, whatever. Happy Saturday to you. I don't care. I, I've... I'm not, I'm, I'm done worrying about people being upset about anything. Just, I don't care. If I say something that bothers you, uh, bless your heart, you know. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I was just pointing it out because it was funny. So, anyway, I'm going to go do my stuff. I'm going to go spray my rose bushes and kill some Japanese beetles. And then I'm going to go to the store. And then I'm going to come back and get my shower and uh, cuz i i was kind of thinking about uh maybe doing an aldi haul but i have an exercise class tomorrow and it's like right in the middle of the day so i'm looking at it like shoot so i want i might do it before the class but in order to do it before the class i want to make sure i have everything here and i don't know that i'm going to feel like getting up and going to get everything tomorrow so i think i'll just i'm just going to go get it today and have it just have it ready for tomorrow like do it tomorrow morning or something like that I don't know but happy Saturday again I hope your day is good it is so damn hot outside oh my god it is really hot and it sucks but happy Saturday to you I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon